the exclusion of chapter 14 and appendix 11a is something I should discuss. Chapter 14, if you look, is titled Material Specific Requirements. In chapter 14, if you look at section 14.2 on concrete, that section adopts ACI 31805 and makes a number of amendments to it. Exactly the same thing is done by chapter 19 of the code itself. If you look at 2006 IBC chapter 19, it adopts ACI 31805 for concrete design, makes a number of amendments. The amendments that the code makes to ACI 31805 and the amendments that chapter 14 of AC 7 makes to 31805 are very close but not identical. So by not adopting chapter 14, the code is telling you concrete design shall be by chapter 19 of the code, not by chapter 14 of AC 7. That, I think, makes all kinds of sense. There is absolutely no reason why you should look to a loading standard for your material <coughs> retailing requirements. AC705 has taken seismic design provisions out of 2003 NARC provisions, and AC705 has been referenced by the code. So, so two things. I want you to unmistakably understand while the code refers you to AC705. Those are not the seismic design provisions of ACE. ACE. ACE does not have the resources to develop seismic design provisions. They take them from this other source document, 2003 NARC provisions. That is the source. Now, that would be relatively unimportant to know except for the next thing that I'm going to tell you. The NARC provisions come with a very extensive and well-written commentary, which is the very best source of information and background on the seismic design provisions of the IBC. If you are going to understand rather than just be able to use the seismic design provisions of the IBC, that's where you need to go. Now, the way that this was designed during the reformat of ASCE 7 was they wanted to have all of the simplified requirements in one spot so that you could actually remove it from the code and have it stand alone and work on its own so people didn't get bogged down with referring back to so much found in the code. So it's all in section 12.14. Now when I first started teaching this part I sat down with Dr. Ghosh and I said why would anybody want to use simplified. You have to go through these 12 conditions to prove that you can use simplified. And then the answer you get is really no, you know, not, it's not a break from going with the equivalent lateral force method. And you'll see that in the um, example. There is a, a small example that compares the equivalent lateral force method with the simplified method. So why would anybody want to use simplified? Does it really save you all that much time? And we came up with four reasons that you would want to use the simplified method. And let me see if I can remember them. The first of the design examples, this is a very simple one designed to just show or, or illustrate with numbers the various steps in seismic design that we discussed. Uh, I'm not going to say that it follows the code master step by step, I don't know, but, but that's unnecessary. Just, just, just uh, watch and, and, and listen and, and make sure that things are falling in place. Uh, I did not try to be fancy with the building. The, this is uh, more regular than anything built out there and I fully realize that the, the idea was that we want to illustrate the steps involved without being encumbered by other complications, okay? So it's a, it's a very simple-minded building, if you like, six spans at 20 feet one way, eight spans at 25 feet the other way. This is all moment frame. These are the 
I don't want to call them specialized topics, but these are the topics that we are not able to deal with in the day-long transition seminar. So, so this is the, and, and I have a number of topics like this. The first one is combinations of structural systems. When we are mixing different lateral force resisting systems in the same building. The first slide is combination framing systems in different directions. So, so two orthogonal directions, we have two different lateral force resisting systems. And, and this is now pretty simple. We use the R omega sub zero and C sub D of the respective direction.